Hi everyone and welcome to Uncharted Collection, Drake's Fortune, Brutal Difficulty Walkthrough. This is chapter 20, Race to the Rescue. And this is the chapter where we're going to be facing two fights, two big fights. And this is the first one. This has two uh, main waves. The first one is already here. Soli is going to be on the other side doing absolutely nothing uh, that can help us. And we are going to be using Soli anyway, because he draws enemies towards him, which is the only useful thing he does. And then we're going to be trying to survive now. I will say, uh, again as the previous sniper section, don't kill the sniper that is in that window. By the way, this has three, che three spawns. This is the second one. And this fight is not as hard as the church fight because this actual fight has a checkpoint and I'm going to show you a death because after the death you're going to be thrown in a checkpoint that's hilariously funny because it puts you almost in the middle of nothing at all and on the end of this video is the church fight and I wanted to talk before we get to the church because the church is rather easy. I'm going to show you a way that is really, really easy. So, I wanted to finally, uh, because we have only two chapters more and they're really short, they're not going to give me the time to, to talk about this. So I'm going to talk to you about people who fear brutal difficulty, who haven't played or, or haven't have played normal or hard or crushing, and they, they don't actually want to play brutal because they fear it. Now, I probably been scaring a lot of people if you have been watching my previous videos talking about how fast you can die on Brutal. The thing is that, yes, this difficult is, is really, uh, the name is, is highly correct. Brutal difficulty is just brutal. It kills you in two shots minimum. Uh, one shot most of the time because the, the aiming of the enemies are, is impressive. So. But the thing is that uh, brutal difficulty is not that much about how could I put it? Brutal difficulty is going to test how much patience you have, uh, how much uh, longer you are willing to go uh, to beat a difficulty. And most of all, it's going to test your uh, accuracy and your intelligent skills because this is not about uh, getting to cover and killing everyone. This is about learning patterns, learning the patterns of the enemies, learning what enemy to kill first, learning what cover is the safest cover, learning how to exploit the little covers that the game has gives you that are actually covers uh, because I mean most of the time even when you are in cover the enemies will kill you as it will happen right now and I didn't even know who actually killed me I think someone spawned from my right see it's going to happen right now and just kills me like in the split of a second or is it the sniper No, that, that was the sniper. So that was that was that was bad by me by changing changing covers. But see that checkpoint? See where it put me? It puts you in the middle of the fucking area, and it puts you rather on the other side of the area when you're going to face the spawn. And I was using the other side because I wanted not to face the spawn, just to to, to, to grab it from behind. But whatever, the, the checkpoint forces you to fight this, even. Uh, even in a harder way that you were fighting it before so what you're going to want to do is doing this come here and stay here through the direction to, to the duration of the this entire spawn uh, cross fingers that Soli can kill anybody because he usually can't and kill this grenade fucking launcher guy if you can uh, as I was saying, uh, brutal difficulty and this walkthrough 
was really tough. Yeah, I'm going to show you the statistics at the end chapter, but they were on over 600 deaths. And I will say only 100 of them, not even 100, were on crushing. And the rest of them were all brutal. And I'm really proud of this walkthrough because I know that this is the hardest game of the three Uncharted. Uh, no doubt about that. And uh, it's all because of the mechanics that are not yet refined as they are in Uncharted 2 and 3. Not really about the game just being harder. It's also about the game not being as restrained as Uncharted 2 and 3. Uh, this game just throws enemies and enemies and enemies at you and it doesn't give you so much uh, points of respite as Uncharted 2 and 3 gave you when you can explore and, and, and watch a cinematic and just uh, solve more puzzles that we haven't had that much puzzles in this game. And brutal difficulty is uh, as I said before is a difficulty that if you if you can actually have the patience to die uh, almost a thousand times maybe and and don't feel bad about it just keep keep trying and not giving up and you can actually do it you're going to feel a really good sense of satisfactory at the end because I don't of satisfaction at the end because I don't think like honestly I heard that uh, Uncharted 4 at Thief's End is going to feature Brutal Difficulty and I hope it does because Brutal Difficulty on Uncharted 4 I think is going to be a lot better balanced than, than here in this trilogy because it's just made by Naughty Dog and, uh, and yeah the sense of satisfaction that I got from finishing this hard as fucking Paul's game. Uh, I don't think I ever, I ever, uh, I ever felt this same satisfaction from the games that I've been covering lately. I mean, yes, I think that uh, Metal Gear Rising, uh, no damage uh, walkthrough that I did uh, really recently, is one of my best walkthroughs. I'm really proud of that walkthrough, and I think that. A lot of the other content with uh, Dale May Cry, especially on Gods Must Die of DMC, that is really really hard as well. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it as well, but I think this is a stamp. This is a stamp of, on this, uh, on my life. Uh, getting through this difficulty is not for everyone. But it's not for the main reasons that you will think. It's not because it's it's really really hard which is it which it is it's just because you need to learn to have patience you need to learn to shoot better you need to learn to uh, not uh, to use land fire like I'm using here you need to learn to use cover in a in a better way you need to learn to have patience in the levels and not rush things there is an entirely different uh, way of playing the game in Brutal Difficulty and that's what's more interesting like playing, playing easy, normal, hard and crushing on any Uncharted of this collection changes radically when we, when we go uh, to Brutal Brutal Difficulty is another game it's another game and it's far more intelligent that, that, that's something that's uh, in favor of Brutal Brutal tells you that you have to be far more intelligent than just uh, be being better at the game or being better at, at, at aiming. You have to approach every situation with another way of thinking and it's not at all the way of thinking that you had in crushing or hard or normal or easy. That's why I say it's, just, it's almost like another game and it's brutal is crude and brutal and if you can do it if you can go through it uh, I think it says a lot about you I think it's not n not that much about how good you are in games but it says a lot about how uh, stubborn can you be yeah I think that's the right word for it how stubborn can you be in a video game 
that you keep trying even that you even when you have died almost 1000 times and you keep reloading that checkpoint because you know that you can do it that is not uh, a limitation that the game is, is putting it's just almost unfair in some parts but deep down inside you you know that you can do it if you keep trying because it's not a game that presents you with, an, with a challenge that is so, solely made by uh, for like uh, Japanese hardcore gamers that can stay uh, playing a game for 48 hours without dying like <laughs> it's not a game uh, it's not a difficulty made for for people who consider themselves pro or something like that that I will never consider myself I'm just an average gamer guys and I and I, I went through this with not so much difficulty I will even say beyond chapter 4 the underwater level and I don't think anything else because I was fearing this section right here but if you run outside like you just watch all that entire part I did inside the church but now if you run outside and you kill all the guys from this position I, I did this the, the, the second try I, I, I started getting aside this is like the second try this is not hard like you, of course you have to be careful and you have to aim to not uh, to, do not lose all your bullets here and I'm, I'm kind of showing you in the gameplay how should you should run uh, move very very cautiously and now the third spawn that by the way that this whole section doesn't have a checkpoint and I was kind of testing if the spawn will, will spawn actually here but it doesn't so you have to run and I will recommend run to the other side of the church because the, the, the third spawn is going to spawn right here right at this door and it's going to spawn as soon as you cross the like the first uh, chair behind the pillar that's the spawn trigger so just run as far as you can into the room and be careful because there's going to be a new sniper that is right above this door, the entrance door. See they are already spawning, I'm hearing them. So I go into cover and now chunk some, some grenades your way, these guys are going to try to rush you, that's a really good grenade, remember the grenades don't kill you as easily as you would think. And now you just have to take out the sniper, I think. And the sniper is going to, I think the sniper either kills himself, because I, I, I'm going to rush the, the lower part, like the front door again, so I can ca cautiously uh, kill him. Uh, but he actually dies before that, and I don't know if Soldi kills him, or he, he, he throws a grenade and kills himself, because that happened a lot of times. I want to thank you a lot for watching and we'll see each other in the chapter 21, almost the final chapter guys, take care. Come on Sully, there should be a hidden passage right under the altar. <laughs>